that's affordable. Find a location that has a police edition bike and build it yourself. They, I would probably, well, most likely I would do the same thing I did with Blade, hit Ivan Black up, get the Dominator rear fender, it's already got the built-in um, license plate bracket, and I would get the long bags, I already have the um, tab 50 cal slip-ons at the house, change the, the air breather out just like I did before, and the foot controls, this one I would put the lowers on, and most likely I would go ahead and change out the front wheel, and then the same thing that I did before with the, um, the chrome front end kit, do the same exact thing as I had before and um, just roll it that way. Well, maybe not, I'll probably leave it like this, but then definitely get the chrome 21 inch wheel and do probably like a Advan Black wraparound fender on this one and definitely get the Clockworks windshield and a different headlight for sure. And um, definitely, definitely, definitely foot controls right away. And also change that suspension out to get the, I go ahead and get the Olin's suspension. On. Yes, yes. So this is all part of the uh, Police Biker Build series. This was a Police Road King, as you guys knew and follow. But this is the Police Road Glide that you've seen in the other video. And this is where I am in the stages of it. The whole rear end has changed. And that is the old fender there. It went from that to this long Dominator fender by Avan Black. It's got the long saddlebags. It's got the custom Dynamics thin line lights. Chop tour pack, nice seat combination to match where I can make it a single seat, just like on Blade. And these bikes are basically the same build except for like the front fairing. And um, I went with the uh, those style floorboards and uh, foot controls right there. Still waiting on the brake piece, but adding the lowers in, putting the lower speakers in right now, went with the 12 inch um, bars that are two inches thick, heated grips by Empire, mirrors by Empire, waiting to put my inner fairing, my fairing back on, have the custom dynamics light to go in it, Clockworks windshield, another four and a half inch windshield for the different days that I wanna ride. Got these chrome wheels on the front and the back and have them black wraparound fender, fork sliders, that's how it's gonna look with the lowers on there. You already saw the air breather and went with the chrome color deflectors and lots of other chrome pieces coming and boxes and boxes of parts that were removed. The old style wheels, same for controls on the side and already got a chrome piece there, but the other chrome pieces are coming. So I just gotta get this lower on, the inner fairing back on. I already put the radio in, speakers installed. I have to get the speaker lids for the back. So I'll have two in the back. I'll have four in the front. And that's how it's rolling right now. So I still have to get the chrome lower kit and I do need to get the chrome calipers. That's all coming, but not right now. About to go on vacation and this build took a week to do and um, been pretty busy trying to get it together. Chrome shifter linkage and can't remember what else. It's just been one long process that had to occur like super fast. So I'm in here with boxes and parts everywhere still. I'm on my last day to get this thing together so I could at least put it out on the road and see how it rides. Oh, and also I got these big 50 cal tab zombie exhaust put on there and the straight pipes, straight pipe headers. So all good. And also um, this is an Advan Black center console. The other center console was like this big bulky type of console on this old school style traditional type of bike. But on this bike, I wanted to go with that old school look. So this is the type of work and the type of things that I do as far as customizing and changing. If you would have saw these bikes when I originally got them, plain, nothing on them, just all policed out with police boxes and the colored light switches and regular bars, regular speedometers and speedometer here, tachometer there, big, big, uh, um, they didn't have the flush mount gauges and uh, caps and stuff like that. Now it's got the fishtails, 
Dominator kit, everything. So I'm loving this type of customized work. This is a way you can buy an affordable Harley Davidson and go ahead and make it your own. So this is now turned into a limited. I can take the tour pack off by detaching it. And after you detach it, then it's more like a road glide special. This is a 2024 model, but it's not the new Helix type of front fairing. It still has the Rushmore fairing. So as you guys know, you can get whatever style fairing you want to put on the front. I'm changing my headlights out regardless, but I like the Helix model, but I like the Rushmore better. The Helix being the uh, new style headlights and a new infotainment system, but when you want to go with a uh, custom radio design, you're going to put in whatever system you want to put in anyway. That's non-factory, and um, so can't wait to get this out. All right, guys, thanks for five minutes of your time. I'm going to keep going, keep going with this thing. I'm trying to get it done by today, and I'm uh, just waiting on my interfering parts to arrive. Of course, whenever you're waiting on parts, it's probably going to come at the end of the day when I need it to come this morning. I got stuff to do, so all right, guys, see you later.